Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be looking at a new pair of glasses that I was um, very interested in picking up when I saw that they were being released and I'm really glad I did because unfortunately as of the filming of this video, which is September 15th, 2021, um, I believe that they're all sold out. So this is going to be more of an informational so you guys can see what it looks like. But in case you guys are interested in picking up this model, you're probably going to have to look for it in the secondary market because unfortunately it's not available on the standard issue site anymore. Now, um, this year marks the 20th anniversary of the event on 9-11. So what Oakley did is they came out with a limited release collection and it's called the Never Forget. So basically, um, they developed this collection, uh, and again, it's a limited release, and it's um, just to kind of uh, pay homage to the events of that day. Now, um, also, they partnered with the Tunnel to Towers Foundation and donated $25,000 to different programs that support um, like the nation's first responders, military veterans, um, and all the families. Um, who made you know the ultimate sacrifice that day? So um, I saw that this was released, and they actually released two different models. They released a Holbrook and they released a gas can. Now I recently picked up a Holbrook, so I decided to go ahead and pick up a gas can. It's been some time since I picked up the gas can, but I like when they do like special releases with that model because the stems are so much wider. So the artwork kind of shows off a little bit better. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. They do come in just the standard black box here. What is a little bit different, and if you guys follow Oakley, is the sticker here on the side, which is pretty interesting. So it does say 9-11 Memorial Prison Gray. Now it doesn't really say anything about, um, let me see if I can focus in on that. It doesn't really say anything about um, like never forget or anything like that, which was pretty interesting. Um, and then it does say Prism Gray. Normally the sticker here will tell you the lens color and the frame color. Now Prism Gray is actually um, the lens color and the frame color is matte gray. So um, I don't know if they just kind of rushed to get these out or what. Um, and I'm not exactly sure how I feel about this, uh, this different sticker here. But again, it is what it is. As long as the glasses are on the side, that's pretty much good enough for me. So as you open it up, here are the glasses. So they do come with this really awesome microfiber bag and uh, basically it's um, it kind of looks like the towers there which is pretty interesting um, you know that that shape that they think that they you know picked to put on the bag there and then on the other side it does say never forget and then it has the two towers um, which can also look like an 11 which is you know pretty cool and then the icon down there so taking them out of the bag here are the glasses themselves as I mentioned, they do have a prism gray lens. It is not polarized, but it is prescription ready, as uh, you can tell by the little sticker there. So we'll go ahead and take off the plastic here. And again, the frame is a matte gray frame, which looks really, really nice. I'm glad they went with that color because a lot of um, uh, the special editions and things like that that Oakley has been coming out with have, have all been like black. You know, pretty much, um, you know, like matte black, sometimes polished black, especially anything coming out of um, standard issue. So um, this is a standard issue exclusive. This was not released in the regular Oakley um, site, just on the standard issue. And like I mentioned, I went on there, purchased them, and unfortunately, I went on there again today, and they're no longer available. It is a limited release. I don't know how many they made, but um, it looks like they probably sold out of them. So going on the side here, we can see the that same kind of image that we saw on the microfiber bag here on the side, which is you know kind of like an image of the towers there. And then on the icon, you have the two towers. This is a matte black icon. What was really interesting is that this um, artwork here actually has texture to it. So it almost feels like ribbing because, I don't know if you guys can make it out, it's almost like the lines are etched into the frame itself. And I really, really like that. Um, it gives it a little bit of an extra touch to it. And then it actually wraps towards the bottom here, and then towards the top there. And then you get the same thing on the other side. As I mentioned, I went with the gas can model because these are wider, so it all obviously lends itself to um, be able to be appreciated a little bit better, the artwork here on the side. Now on the inside, you also have, never forget, with the two uh, towers there. And then it does say, I'm sorry, I think I'm bumping the mic. It does say right there, uh, USA made. 
So these are made in the USA. So that was really, really cool. And then obviously you have your um, serial number on the other side there. So again, this is your typical gas can frame. And I like the fact that they went with this particular model and with the Holbrook because um, being coming from the standard issue site, that's what a lot of uh, people gravitate towards, uh, especially on these um, uh, more of a lifestyle frame. Again, this is not something that you're gonna wear uh, if you're going to be very active or anything like that. It is an active frame, but um, there's no rubber on the nose or on the um, the ears or anything like that. So, you know, it's uh, it's something something that you could wear um, or you can display. This is going to be look really nice displayed, especially with the micro bag, uh, microfiber bag. And if you display it kind of open like that, so you can see the shot of the side there and then the icon with the two towers there. So I'll go ahead and turn the camera around, put them on so you guys can see what they look like on me. All right, guys, so again, this is the Never Forget uh, limited release style that Oakley came out with for the um, 20 year anniversary of the events of 9-11. And this is the gas can model and it is available also in a Holbrook model. So I'll go ahead and put them on. Um, the gray lens, uh, it's really good. It, it actually increases a little bit of contrast even though it is um, on a, a black based lens. But um, for the most part, I think the, it kind of, because it's a prism lens, it kind of gives it like a, a little bit of a rose tint to it. Um, again, as, as far as how I see it. So I like that. I like the fact that they went again with the, um, the gray frame as opposed to a black, either matte or something like that. Just, you know, just to kind of vary things a little bit. So on the sides, you see right here what I was saying earlier, how um, you could see the artwork really nice, which is again, a, a representation of the Twin Towers there. And then obviously on the icon right there, you have the Twin Towers. So really, really awesome pair. I just wish that um, it was still available. Again, this is more so you guys can see what it looks like. I know a lot of uh, a lot of people that follow the standard issue uh, accounts either on um, you know on the actual site or on the um, on Instagram. They're pretty good about posting pictures and whatnot. Uh, there was a lot of hype about these, so I'm really really glad that I was able to pick them up when I did because unfortunately it does look like they're sold out. So if you are interested, you know make sure you hit up a secondary market and see if if it's available. Um, I think for the most part these are. Uh, more of a display pair for me just uh, I can have it with some of the other um, special editions that um, Oakley has come out with especially on the standard issue site so there it is just a look at the new uh, never forget um, limit release collection uh, that Oakley came out for the 20th year anniversary of the events of 9-11 let me know if you guys have any questions thanks